Now then, it is Friday, and we are doing another occasional vlog. Um, we actually took a weekend off last weekend. Uh, no reason other than we just, I was tired. Still, I'm quite tired. I've not been sleeping the best. Um, so, probably going to have a relaxed weekend this weekend. Maybe do a nice Sunday relax, cook at home. Just take some time out. But there's stuff to show and stuff to talk about, so I thought I'd do a vlog as well. Um, first off, guitars. Uh, I don't put much footage of me playing the guitar in the vlogs because I don't want to ruin your ears. <laughs> Damage any electrical equipment. But I have carried on practicing every now and then over the past one, which you can see my trusty uh, vintage branded SG is down there. I did pick up on the fact that it's broken. Now, when I bought it, it said it was grade B stock. Um, <laughs> and I, I couldn't quite remember why. Uh, but it seemed to work okay for me. But what I found out is one of the pickups doesn't work. So that might have been why it was grade B stock. But that's not what I'm talking about today. Although I probably will at some point make a little project of trying to repair it. Um, but probably in November. I saw one of them competitions online. Enter this raffle to win a guitar. And I thought, go on, I'll have a go. Free entry. And I entered. I didn't win it, funnily enough. It was 4,000, 5,000 entries. didn't win it. Uh, but periodically, I'd go back to the website. I'm not going to say what the website is, but you can probably Google it. Or if you want to confirm it, ping me and I'll confirm it. Periodically, I've had it. I've had a bit of spare cash. I'd put a pound here, there, a couple of pounds there on a guitar that I like the look of. And last Saturday, uh, me and Gemma were... Sorry, last Sunday, actually. Me and Gemma were going into town. And I was sat on the bus and I saw they had a Strat on there. Uh, candy apple red strat, strat not an overly fancy one but like it's just great for sort of like something that i could play but not be scared about like if it gets like like some of the stuff they give away is like thousands of pounds worth of kit anyway i uh, i threw a couple of entries down on it like 73p an entry a couple of entries down on that one sneaky sneaky it was 999 entries so i thought you know chances of winning it are slim Forgot about it actually, completely forgot about it. Uh, and then Monday evening I got an email saying, uh, hey, did you not watch the live stream? Uh, you won You won a strat. <laughs> I'm like, nah. Because I, I, part of me, in the back of my head was still like, ah, this this, this sounds like a, a, a very elaborate scam to scam people out of money. Turns out it wasn't a scam. Turns out I won a strat. So this morning, a candy apple red strat turned up. It's a 2017 model, made in Mexico. I've never owned a proper Strat before. I've never owned a proper guitar. I oh, know I had a Squire Strat in the past, which is like a Fender one. But all my other guitars are like the Westfield is like a it's a brand that no longer exists, and the other one's a copy of a Gibson SG. So I've never owned an actual sort of like oh it's a proper Fender Strat, and it isn't a super expensive one. I think they were like uh, mid three figures, so I think it's probably worth about two to three hundred pound. But it, it was like 73p a ticket, and I entered with a couple of tickets, and I won. So there you go. So I'm not going to show you playing it, because again, I don't want to damage hearing. But yeah, I've had a play about on it. All the electronics work. It sounds good. There's no frat rattles like there is on my guitar. It's had a full setup, which in itself is worth like 50 quid or something like that. I don't know. Uh, my other guitar has never been set up. <laughs> it just works as it did. I never checked, actually. It's had a full, full setup. Yeah, the frets are all nice and... Uh, Nothing snag either, I would expect not for a nice strat. Looks good though, doesn't it? Just excuse, um, what's the name up in the background there? The Hoff. <laughs> if you know, we've probably mentioned him in the past. But yeah, there we go. And also excuse the cat fur on the bed. Sometimes the cat's sleeping in while I'm working. Anyway, speaking of work, uh, I'm currently working, so I just wanted to tell you about the guitar, because I couldn't believe it turned up. Um, oh, and it came with a gig bag as well, because I was just about to go on Amazon last night and order a gig bag to keep it safe. I probably still need to order a gig bag to keep the other guitars safe, but there we go. Anyway, we'll catch up later. Hello, it's uh, it's afternoon now, I've just finished work for the day. Um, just been looking through uh, the views on the videos, and you know I was like half sort of grumbling, not really seriously grumbling, uh, about the zoo video the other week. Uh, it's only 800 views now, so it turns out I was wrong and people did watch it. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, yeah, uh, speaking of that, probably next weekend we'll be getting back to the zoo. So uh, for those who really enjoyed the zoo vlogs, we should have another one. 
113 hours of people have watched that. Just sitting there for 113 hours watching one of our vlogs. It's just, just my moment and reload. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I've lost my track now. Anyway, I'm going to go and pick Jammer up. Um, we might call and have a look at a coffee maker, like an espresso machine. Because, um, she, yeah. Well, we decided we wanted one a little while ago, and then we decided not to get one, and maybe, now we're kind of like, maybe we will get one. But the other day, she went and bought some coffee for the coffee machine that we've got, and she went up to the counter, and the woman went, oh, coffee beans, and she was like, yeah, and then sent me a text message going, can you get us a coffee grinder, because I've got coffee beans instead of ground coffee. Uh, again, it's something we've been planning on getting for a little while. So we're not too concerned. So I picked one of them up. Now we quite like an espresso machine as well. So with that, I'm going to trip over this box on the floor and I'm going to go and try and pick Gemma up. Thinks he's not letting me. He's like, don't go and pick your mum up. Look at what they've been doing with this mat here. Well, no, Pixie seems to get pride of place in these vlogs, but here's little Reggie Monster, who's obviously been behind the couch somewhere because there's dust on his head. Let's get that off you. Here he is. Walkers up at 5 a.m. this morning. Climbs on the bed and jumps on you and tries to get you to play. And he's very snuggly as well. He likes to get petted. And it wouldn't be a cat up there without this handsome gentleman. Hello, Archie. Hey. He's a good lad. And his favourite box. <laughs> one last thing before I pick Gemma up is um, my contract changed over on my phone today I think I mentioned a while ago that I had this plan where I was going to go with the Pixel 7 and pay for it on Klarna and then um, move to a SIM only plan for the phone so I went from paying basically my Vodafone bill was going to go up to about £80 a month which was crazy high for what I had and for what I needed so that ended just in time, so I've stopped that now, and I've moved on to Talk Mobile, who are owned by Vodafone anyway, and I pay nine pound a month for thirty gig of data, unlimited text, and unlimited minutes. I'll do me. <laughs> Save the heck of a lot. That I don't have Spotify anymore though, so I've been using YouTube Music, which is terrible. So I might have to uh, invest another ten or a month in Spotify. Anyway, gotta go and pick Gemma up. Gemma's eating dinner. You all right, honey? We got the M&S pizza meal deal, which was two of these huge pizzas and two sides for 12 quid. And the sides are dirty fries and arancini in our case. Mushroom arancini, yeah. Skinny fries, packages by jalapeno poppers, cheese, burger, spring rolls, loads, absolutely loads of sides, doesn't it? Garlic bread. Yeah, seems pretty good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I need to uh, get back to my golf game and play mini golf with friends. And uh, Gemma's watching Crufts as well. Starting uh, Saturday, the farm shop where we get stuff for our roast. Oh, I fancy one of them, that looks good. I think it's going to be steak for tea tonight as well. Spending all the money I saved on the uh, mobile phone this weekend, I think that looks amazing. Always worth checking the meals in here as well, they do some really good um, prepped meals. We've had those on the vlog in the past. I probably should have said that's uh, Taylor's Farm Shop. It's between Ormskirk and Parbold, just off the road there. It's really good, really good quality food. And while it probably didn't seem cheap in some respects, there's a lot in what I bought. So that lamb was huge. Those steaks are enormous. You could easily cut them in half and have, have two meals out of them for ten pound rump steaks. And all the uh, Meals and stuff they do like ten, uh, three for five, fifteen and stuff like that, and they're very filling, really good quality. I sometimes try if I can to pay a bit more to get the firm shop quality of like the butcher quality of food as well. Anyway, I've got a couple of other things I need to do. I couldn't get eggs in there. They only sold eggs in trays of twenty four, twenty four, twelve. I don't know. I think it was twenty four, uh, which we don't need that many. So I'm gonna go and check check booths, which isn't too far from here and if I can't get anything in Boots I'll pop to us. In fact I might just pop to Asda at this point because Boots is going to be pricey. Again though, better quality. And I'm home. 
Uh, I actually ended up going to Aldi. There's a new Aldi in Liverpool, near Liverpool. Near Magull. So I called in there. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Aldi, if I'm honest, but um, I got what I needed. I did buy the Brewdog Aldi Collaboration beer. This was caused because Aldi keep ripping off other brands, sort of, um, looks. So they did some beers that looked a little bit like Brewdog beers. And most people, are, most companies are like lit litigious about it or whatever. And I'm, I don't know if Brewdog were, but it, eventually they decided to collaborate instead and make a beer together, which is the Aldi, old, old, IP, Aldi, old IPA, whatever. I don't know. And apparently some of the proceeds go to planting trees as well, I think. I saw something on the Twitter yesterday about that. So that's quite nice. I managed to get eggs for Yorkshire puddings. I also got some gravy. I actually had to call to Asda for the gravy because all these Asda selection was... Uh, all these Asda selection? All these gravy selection was terrible. Um, and I got some bird seed for the uh, garden, for the birds, because it's getting towards spring. Generally, we find the birds don't visit in the winter here. So we don't really put much seed out for them, but now they'll start to come around again. So we'll get some out. We keep the fat balls out for them because obviously there's a lot of have energy in the fat for feathered friends. But yeah, we need to get the uh, seed feeders all clean. They're all in a bucket down there. It's full of water and they're all soaked in the seed and everything in them. So that needs tidying. Might be a job for today. Uh, other than that today, I think I'm going to relax a bit. And just do a few of the housework things, nothing too uh, intensive. I've still got quite a few Lego sets to build. Uh, I did build, which one did I build? Oh, I bought the Mandalorian X1 Starfighter, the Naboo Fighter one. Did I get that name right? Off the top of my head, I'm terrible with names. Sorry, N1 Starfighter, that one. I got a, a deal on it. If I see Lego on sale at a decent level, I generally pick it up if I like the set because it's very rare that Lego goes on sale. An example as well, I don't really like the Minecraft Lego sets, but that was seven quid, reduced from 17 or 18. Uh, and you know, when I talk about it being a, a way to relax, I'll pop this in a cupboard upstairs, if I'm feeling like a bit stressed or anything like that. I it'll come and I'll just build it up. My mum was waiting for me when I got in. This is the only one of them that was waiting. It's the prettiest one too. She is the prettiest one, isn't she? You can't die it. <laughs> The other two are handsome boys, she's the pretty lady. Oh. I've uncovered a cover up and I'm furious. So, me fr Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, because there's four in a box. Treat is to have a bottle of Fentiman's Curiosity Coil. For a couple of weeks, you couldn't get it. Went out of stock everywhere. So, fair enough. Things change, sometimes things go out of stock. I'll uh, crack on when it comes back in stock, and sure enough, Tesco got it in stock last week. And I got my Fentimans back. I tasted it. And Fentimans is one of my favourite drinks. Was one of my favourite drinks. But now, it's not. <laughs> and when I've looked on the back, and I've looked on the Fentimans website, and done a bit of comparisons... On the Fentimans website, it lists the sugar content of a bottle of, of 100 ml of a bottle of uh, Fentimans. It's 7.8 grams of sugar. And I know, it's a lot of sugar, but it's a small treat at the weekend. So I don't mind. Because, you know, a lot of sugar drinks during the week. I've got Pepsi Max or... What we have, we have Diet Cola with caffeine free, because I want to reduce my caffeine intake. But weekend, I like my Fentimans. The new bottle has 3.9 grams. They've like nearly half the amount of sugar in there. They have half the amount. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not good at words. <laughs> I'm furious. <laughs> um, um, yeah, <laughs> it tastes terrible. So, well, there we go. That's a one way you're killing your brand, isn't it? Because, I mean, if I've tasted it and it tastes terrible, I can't be the only one who thinks it tastes terrible. Because the whole point of Fentimans was it was a classic botanically brewed cola that tasted really nice and had sugar in it. And now it tastes like, let's not say rude words on our vlogs. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. There's me one treat of the week. Well, I say one treat of the week. It's not like it's the only treat of the week. I'm going to buy big steaks and eat, uh, drinking beers. But it's my little, you know, little weekend treat. Uh, that's that, That's gone off the list. I'm not going to buy any more until they put the sugar back in it. 
Well, I won't show you because it's drying, but I just grabbed the bird seed feeder from the garden. Um, turns out if you leave those in the out all winter, they got water in them, and then the water makes the bird seed turn into dirt, and then that smells really bad. So I'll be glad that I didn't put smell of vision on this vlog. Uh, but yeah, I've brought it in, I've cleared out all the seed, I've uh, disinfected it, I'm going to let it dry, refill it and put it back out. Oh, I did forget to mention, we went to Curry's and had a look for the coffee machine. Didn't have it. It's all completely out. So we ordered it on Amazon and it's coming tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to try to support bricks and mortar stores, but you know. <laughs> Jammer's home! And I'm so disgusted in Fentimans, I'm making a try Fentimans, the, the new version of it. Smells the same. Taste of anything? No. <laughs> it's there. The flavour's there, but it's it's just watery now. Yeah. Just a bottle what of disappointment. Half to the sugar. Half the sugar, but not half the price. And not so, half the taste. No. I think what it is is they're trying to avoid the sugar tax. Yeah. But this is a premium. It for a couple of weeks, yeah. we? And then suddenly it was back in the in the shop again. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do steak for tea. Does that sound nice? Yeah, that sounds lovely. Okay, then. Jam is still home. I really need to put green things on these plates, don't I? Yeah. It just looks like a plate yeah. of brown and beige. The steak the looks good, though. Oh, yeah. Jam is watching Crufts again. Yeah. Anyway, enjoy... Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, enjoy your steak and enjoy your beige food. Um, and we found out the Tiger Cubs are both girls. We did. Yeah. I'm going to think you should be called Karara and Fabina. <laughs> so, Gemma's always on the lookout for interesting looking hot cross buns. And this year she went with red velvet ones, which look, definitely look interesting. And they've got uh, cookie butter spread on top of them all. Biscoff spread. Gemma had to remind me what that was. Uh, it's always a nice mix. Anyway, I'm going to give them a try and see what I think. Yeah, they're actually pretty nice though. They approve. Our coffee machine's arriving late. Today's plan is basically to do this, relax on the couch. Maybe build some Lego. One thing we are, one thing we are doing today is uh, cooking a nice roast dinner, and this is that lamb I picked up yesterday. When I pulled this out of the pack, it went even bigger. It's huge. And it smells amazing. It's covered in a uh, minted um, spices and stuff. Minted spices, mint, and uh, other bits and bobs. I think oh, this is going to be lovely. I've put it on a bed of. Um, onion and I'm going to add some lamb stock to the bottom and then cover it all over. Probably go in the oven for, we read, about 25 minutes at 200 and then an hour probably at 180, I think it was 180, something like that. And then the last half hour we'll uncover it to try and get the uh, skin on the top, which I'm hoping is, yeah, the skin is the, get that nice and crisp as well and we'll see what it comes out like. Looks good. Well, you'll have to excuse all the noise, but our coffee machine arrived. Um, may need to do some reading on this one. <laughs> um, dinner's on, obviously. Uh, we've got roasties in there. We've got some veggies on the hob. There will be green in this dinner. And the meat's under here all cooked and nice. So Gemma's just grabbing a shower, and when she's done, I will uh, plate up. Lots of tools. Um, needs a bigger bowl. Yeah, my portion control uh, leaves a lot to be desired. But yeah, look at those Yorkshire puds. They came out good today, didn't they? Yeah. Came out good as well. Enjoy, honey. Oh, well. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that roast dinner was amazing. And now I'm trying to make coffee. <laughs> this is kind of fun, actually. Uh, this is by no means the way it should be done. I just kind of uh, had a go at it with, Je with a coffee for Gemma. It turned out okay, so I'm going to do one for myself. You'll have to excuse the mess around here, but I have pressed some Guinness coffee in here. Baristas will probably want to look away now, because I'm not very good at this. There we go. I do have the milk for the, for the frothy thing. And I do have another cup for this. And it's literally a case... I'm going to make sure I've got enough water, actually. Well, we'll find out soon enough. There we go. So 
so you can kind of leave it running for as much as you want but obviously we don't have the espresso cups yet so uh, we probably in, we need to invest in them this is effectively a double shot and there's my coffee there's my milk and I can make an absolute mess by mixing the two there we go one coffee I don't think I'm going to apply for a job at Starbucks anytime soon Someone came to see me while I was working. I'm just about to finish, actually. Yeah, she is. Look. Nearly fell off the chair then as well. She's absolutely purring her head off. I don't know if you can hear her. She's actually behind my hand that's holding the camera. There we go. <laughs> she just... <laughs> this is a... Uh... A couple of days now she's come over and she's just been all soft and purry and cute. I think I need what I need is a small little bag of treats. So when she comes up and she's cute, she can get treats. <laughs> she's just drilled on the phone. Thank you, Pixie, for showing me that. The one-eyed cat. <laughs> they do know how to make you smile. Good evening, it's Tuesday. Um... Before we close off this broken uh, weekly vlog, as in broken up, um, we didn't do Stout Sunday or Saturday or Monday, so it's Stout Tuesday. This is the M&S Black Forest Stout. Uh, M&S actually had a sale on of all the craft and crafty type beers for like £2 a can, so we bought one of them all. Let's give it a try. This is Stout with Cherry Juice, Lactose and Flavourings. That's in the... It's from Vocation. Oh, is it? Oh, have they done it with vocation? Yeah. Let's give it a try. Hmm. That's actually really good. Hmm. It's a solid four. That I think for me. Enjoyable. Yeah. So um, we'll probably close this one off now. Do you think? I don't think we've got much else to report tomorrow. We're not planning on doing anything. Yeah. Uh, not sure what we're going to be doing next weekend either yet because it's Mother's Day weekend and the zoo's going to be quite busy. So we had originally planned to get a zoo visit in. Yeah, but mothers can go in free. Yeah, but mothers can go in free. So it's going to be a bit busy. So <laughs> what we'll probably do is let you know next weekend when we know. Mm. <laughs> uh, so thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, Gem. Bye. Bye.